Um, hi. Um, this is weird spot to film, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna be painting, uh, whatever Bob Ross <laughs> tells me to paint. I, I'm, uh, I'm a good color, but not a good painter. So, let's see how this goes. You could join me today. Today we're going to do a wonderful little painting, and I really think you're going to, I think you're going to enjoy this one. So I tell you what, okay. just don't waste any time. Let's have them run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with what? me. Me, I've got an old 18 by 24 inch canvas up here. It's all covered with a nice thin even coat of the liquid white. It's wet, slick, it's ready to go. So let's just I do what do that. I today. Let's do maybe a little traditional painting with some mountains and and pretty sky and maybe some water and who knows. Let's just let's just do some. You're saying something? Um. This is a small. This is really small. Mm -hmm. And he has a ginormous one. So I don't know what I'm going to do. And have a good time. Start off with a little two inch brush today. I'm going to go right into a small, this little amount of the Indian yellow. Just, mm -hmm. just a little color. Huh? Doesn't take much. I'm going to put a little yellowish glow in the sky. Now the Indian yellow is quite transparent. There. I'm not quite happy mood today. It's a good day to be alive. So let's do a painting that reflects that. Yep, this is wrong color. Shoot, every day's a good day to be alive. There What's we are. Maybe a little bit of it down here. If we're going to have water, we just put a little in there. What the heck? Okay, without even cleaning the brush, I'm going to go right. Nope. Probably do this. Yep, totally as good as Bob Ross. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm gonna put some on here. Yep, I'm so good at this, guys. Actually, oh my. Be right back. Let's continue on. Do a touch of the lizard and crimson and just, just tap a little bit into the bristles, like so. Red? We'll go right up above this. And I'm just going to lay in a little bit of crimson. Just a little just bit wherever. above it. So I let them flow together. There we are. Just blend those edges out. Very nice. Yep, got it. Just put a little warm spot up here in the sky. Okay, we'll take a little crimson. And we'll throw a little of that down here too. What the heck? What the heck? We don't care. Yeah, I don't care, man. That's good enough. Okay, just have a good time. That's really what painting's all about. Yeah. Is just enjoy yourself. Okay, little phthalo blue. Blue, my favorite color. Brush. Blue. Let's go blue. right on back up in here. Using a little crisscross stroke. Blue's my favorite color, if you didn't know that. But, um, what I was going to say... Uh... I was gonna say, I really suck at this. Yeah, I'm mine totally looks the exact same from his. Yeah, oh my, so good. I'm so good at this. Like, oh my, oh, so good. I'm like the best at this. Like, honestly, I'm so good. I think I should. What? Oh yeah. If you want a uh, science experiment, grab red and put it in water and it's pink. That's I just did it on accident and it's pink. And it messed up my whole thing. So, don't do what I did. Still pink. Yeah. I totally love my life right now. So, red. I mean, blue. Okay. Um, sky blue. And I started out here working downward. 
so it'll mix with the liquid white and automatically get lighter and lighter in value. Oh man, I'm so good. See, the blue is so much stronger than that crimson. Well, it'll just, it'll eat it What's a crimson? Maybe a little bit right Excuse me. Now, when you do your painting, if you don't want all these colors in the sky, just leave them out. You can make any kind of sky that you want. Just want to show you how to make a beautiful, bright little painting. We'll take some phthalo blue and a touch, just a touch, of phthalo green. Wait, what? Phthalo blue and phthalo green. Oh, and really? let's put some Let's put some water down here. Fiddle blue. Fiddle green. Got it. Fiddle blue. Fiddle green. Oh. Uh oh. Outside, yeah. Oh, what the? Outside, yeah. The That's your screen. More blue. There we go. Just let all these colors just sort of blend together. I want to kill all that bright spot right there. It'll go away and leave you. Away yeah, mine's not blending at all, so. There. Okay, and now we can wash our brush. We put all this color on there, and this is the first time we washed our brush. Oh, wait, what? The first time? Shake off the excess. What the? And there we go. Now then, I want to blend the sky out. Be sure your brush is good, clean, and dry. Start in the light area. Ooh. And the light area. So I'm gonna use that out. brush. Okay. Using the wrong brush. This one. Just dry. Always blending outward. Okay, so we just do. Just blend it out. Blend it out. don't talk about it perfect uh, okay. try not to bring that blue color back into that yellow or you'll have a bright green sky unless that's I did what that. you want okay now then just knock that excess paint off my brush what <laughs> and continue to blend i thought there you said go. something else Till it's very soft and very delicate. You can't tell where one color stops mm. and the next color starts. I have ten or nine. Let's just not talk about it. I'm going to use this one. Sometimes when you're painting at home, step back from your painting and take a look. See, it's hard to see when you're very close. Step back and, and look at it, and you'll see a whole new perspective. Things will look totally different. Bob, there. Bob, how do you do this stuff, Bob? Tell me. All right, down here. Come to my house so and tell me, Bob. Me. Just go across this mix it with a liquid white, and it all just sort of blends together. <laughs> what? I thought I was doing pretty good. I was just doing the wrong thing the whole time. Restarting check. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, actually, that's better. <gasps> wrong brush. No. Barbara, you shouldn't have, you should have told me that. Barbara, man.
Bob Ross. Now I'm going to do some of this off camera because the video has been pretty long already. So see you soon. So good. Soon I'll show you the final results. My hands are clean. And when his purse is clean, we're going to dip it into a little bit of the liquid white and then into some color. We're going to take some sap green, can yellow, and then we'll sort of bounce back and forth into we'll get some yellow ochre in a minute. Let's go right up here. There's a happy little bush. I remember it. He lives right here. Right there. Beautiful little bush. And he shines in the sun. Okay, now then. Watch right here. Let's turn that into reflections just for pulling it down. Go lightly across. How does he do this? There's a lot of ways to it. Yeah, I'm going into yellow ochre, a little Indian yellow here and there. Here it lives. Another little bush. See him? Just sort of visualize these in your mind. And drop them in. Drop them in. There we are. Maybe right here. There's another little bush. But see, do layer after layer after layer, one bush at a time. Drop it in, and then work forward. Okay, we're going to reflect a little bit of that right into the water here. You know, one of the questions I probably get half a dozen letters a week asking if we do any tracings or any video editing when we're making these shows. And I really, I've mentioned this before, but there's there's absolutely no video magic that happens here. What what happens here, good or bad, absolutely happens in the time that you see it happen. There. Pull straight down and go lightly across. Okay. Yeah, if I was to do something that you didn't see, I'd feel like I was cheating you. Tell you what. Let me get my fan brush here. Get a little bit of color right on the fan brush. Maybe back here in the distance, with the indication of a little, a little grassy area way back in there, like so. See that? Push Drop a like if you want me to play a game called the Baby here. in Yellow. That's I think really it's called. Be the it's pretty popular on YouTube, now, so I thought I could do it maybe. Away. So drop a like if you want to see that. that maybe right here lives. You're right. Happy little bush. Well, this would be a nice place to live out here. It's so pretty. Looks peaceful. Nobody's angry out here. Yeah, uh, no this one's is angry. A nice spot, mine. Huh? Yeah, a hundred percent. I think I give up. I could just tell mine sucks. Is that a tree or is that a bush? I can't remember. This is the final results. Uh, I knew I was going to do this bad. Actually, I thought it would do a little bit better, but I used to be a... No, I, I, I was always a bad painter. Um, but I'm a good color. So, here's the final results, I guess. This is mine. Oh, it sucks so much. No, I'm just kidding. That's Bob Ross's. It's so good. Mine, on the other hand. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let me just get a, let me just get a, um, thumbnail for a second. Okay, got a thumbnail. Okay, see you on the next one. Peace.